Okay, I'm gonna do a little tutorial on getting started making mesh in Blender. It's the current version of Blender, which is uh, 2.63. I don't know. I was trying to make it kind of simple. When when you normally load it up for the first time, you'll have a cube um, in the middle of your screen, like that. Um, that that's a mesh. That's your first mesh. Um, the arrows are like second life and you can move the thing around with it. To move the camera around you press your middle mouse wheel <coughs> um, to, uh, to navigate around. If you use shift and your mouse wheel it goes up and down. If you use control and your mouse wheel it goes left and right. Um, the number buttons on your keypad will do different views so you can skim it around and stuff like that. <coughs> um, so let's start sculpting. Um, the important thing is you change it from object mode down here into edit mode, and then um, the whole thing lights up orange. Um, then you've got edges on these things, you've got faces, and you have verte vertices, <coughs> which are the corners. Now you can select these individually uh, using the vertex select, the edge select, and the face select. So if I just select a face, you just right click on a face and it highlights it. Right, highlight a different face. Or you can highlight a face and shift highlight two faces. Um, use A to select everything and A to unselect everything. Those are the main ones. Um, what else do we need to know? Now a, a mesh cube. I was trying to think of a way to an analogy to draw about vertexes. Uh, the more the more points you have on a thing, the more you can do with it. At the moment, because it's only a cube, it's only got however many sides a cube has. Uh, and if you select an individual point, you can pull it up, you can push it down. <coughs> um, and that's basically all there is to sculpting. Um, but you can't do an awful lot with just a cube. So if I select it all, you can subdivide it. Now a lot of these controls are up the side here, subdivide here. But this new version of Blender, if you don't know where anything is, you hit the space bar and type subdivide. And you'll see subdivide show up there. So we've just doubled the amount of vertices on it. I'll do it the other way so you know. Sub, uh, oh shit. <laughs> uh, sub, oh god, it's gone horribly wrong. Let's just delete that. Hit delete, vertices. We'll start again. Add mesh cube. Uh, it's all it's all selected and it's in edit mode. So go subdivide, subdivide, subdivide. Now we get a lot more polygons to play with. Um, <coughs> edit. Let, let's make it something like a chair. So I want to select uh, a bunch of these faces, which can be the back of my chair. So I'm just shift shift clicking on here. Now if you pull this up, it'll just it'll just stretch up and you get like a stretchy back like that but what's cool if you press E for extrude when you drag it up it gives you a nice nice clean edge like that um, which is fairly easy let's, do, let's give it some arms E to extrude so I'm just right clicking on here and pressing shift to select more than one thing E to extrude Mightily impressive chair. <laughs> um, right, the other cool thing it's got. This this is I think this is box modeling pretty much, is what this is. If you go down here, you've got a whole bunch of other things which are scaring and intimidating. What's fairly cool is this thing here called sculpt mode. Um, if you open up sculpt mode, you've got all these different brushes, grab and things. Which you can play with. Um, what should we have a go with? Let's have a, let's have a go with that. Um, much like Photoshop, you can make the brushes bigger or smaller using the square brackets. Um, but you can uh, start squidging stuff about. Uh, and then it looks like we're in my favorite, my favorite program, ZBrush. That ZBrush, if you're an American. <laughs> and we, I'm just dragging in. Squidging surfaces around. 
Uh, oh yeah. Fat bottom chair, you make my rockin' world. Okay. Let's do a bit more of that. But these these all do different things. There's a uh, what's that? Grab. Is that, that grabs bit. Obviously the more polygons you've got, the better. Uh school motion. This is the different ways of viewing the thing. That's wireframe. Just shows that you like um like a wireframe. There's a textured version, if you've got a texture load on loaded onto it. Or solid, which is the kind of default way we've got it. Um Right, so that's our mesh. The next the next thing we've got to do, we've got a UV it. A UV is if you want to explain it wrong, is the texture map which goes on top of it. It's not that, but it kind of <laughs> kind of re relates to that. The people who know a lot more about it will say, "Nah, it's, it's not. It's not. It's the vertices and the points and the surface and the, all that kind of stuff." But it's not really that important. Up here, I'm changing it from default view into UV editing. Um, now we got the get the thing so we can see what we're doing. There it is. And it needs to be in edit mode, like that. And we need to press A a couple of times till it's all selected. And then we go to unwrap smart UV project. Pro, uh, project. That's easier for me to say. And lo and behold, we've got a UV map. It's it's not a pretty UV map. There's there's cooler ways to do it. When you when you learn a bit more about it, you can mark seams on these things. Um, and it helps you unwrap it. Um, kind of like flattening out. If you pull the cardboard box apart and lay it flat to make a net, it's the same deal, and you, you can control it a bit more elegantly. But for the sake of this, that will that will do us. Now this we can export. File export. Hang on. We need to be in object mode. Object mode with it selected. File export. Collider. I've got Avastar installed on this which fixes a lot of the problems with the ordinary um, collider exporter. <coughs> the ordinary collider exporter if you don't have Avastar installed has got export for second life uh, and export for second life in there already. If you take that and you call it cool chair cool chair dot um, d8 coolchair.da oh, I want to be sticking on my desktop export collider ok I'm going to bravely open second life now and try and up upload the thing let's just sh shuttle these text boxes so I can't see all the people swearing at me build upload model now, depending on whether second life's going to work oh I feel a crash coming out no worries no, Cool chair, there it is. Open, and it should just preview. There you go. That's a cool chair. Um, now, if you've made a texture for it, which you're going to have to Google how to do, um, you can preview it there. Upload options. You can set it to load the um, load the textures with it. Physics. It kind of works out a rough shape. Um, a mesh by default just comes in as a cube so if you go medium then analyze it'll probably be about right um, uploading is it going to work? Is it give, is it, did it give me a quote? I don't know what I paid for that <laughs> I just came out of Bay City Airport This model represents no, smaller non moving. Yeah, I think the upload is broken. It's, it's hung there motionless for some time. But you get the idea. <laughs> okay. I'm your host, uh. Judas Shuffle. <laughs> Thank you for listening. Take care.